at the time it was called Juvenile C, innit? The only difference between the game and the streets is that 30,000 are watching. If I was in the football, I'd probably try and be like a DJ or a rapper or something like that. What's funny about that? Uh. I'm in back in my old neighbourhood where I started playing football when I was under 12. People from other neighbourhoods used to come around and challenge us to play football and that. The opponent sweat dripping, fear tugging on his adrenaline, all because C-O-L-E has arrived. Interest in music came from on my mum's side, really, because my mum always used to play a lot of music loud in the house. She used to play a lot of jazz. She used to even like classical music sometimes. So I grew up around Luther Vandross, Marvin Gaye. She used to play Barry White. All I remember about Barry White, all he used to do is talk with his like deep voice. <laughs> Feels so good. You're lying here next to me. My mum used to love Barry White. So even though one may like bling, 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 hatchback convertible coupes with the trimmings. Even though we get getting money, you can give me some more. With the cars and the big crib, give me some more. Everybody spread love, give me some more. If you want it, let me hear you say it, give me some more. The music that goes into my car has got to be good music. I can't have any old music. I'll probably crash if anything rubbish came into my car, sir. So. Papa, I'm a millionaire. I listen to a lot of R&B, hip-hop, a bit of bashment sometimes, but mostly R&B and hip-hop. Kano, I'm feeling his style. He's gonna blow. I can see him even going to America doing well because his style's just that good. Back in the days on MTV, I used to watch So Solid Crew. I've got a lot of favourites, man. I'm feeling UK um, artists at the moment. When I was younger, I was just used to spit a few rhymes or sometimes DJ with one of my mates. Getting grimy like Dizzy, Kano, Heartless or Wiley. Some manners don't like me, they try to bad mind me when Kano comes to town. Me and him just used to tour around like all of West London going to under 18 raves, MCing and all that. And then I went onto a, a big stage on radio, pirate radio stations and that. Shouldn't have been doing that, but. <laughs> And that's when it started getting a bit serious. I started taking it a bit seriously. Um, Bashman FM, it was called. At the time, it was called Juvenile C, innit? And it's highly unlikely that he'll ever take his life or the game lightly, not even slightly. Yeah, I used to get people calling up for me in the pirate radio station. Splendidly slender women. Um, spit a line for me, put my name in it or whatever. Hey, hey, hey. I've always had a girl before, no, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, bro. Let's see, cook yourself, man. When I'm off the pitch in my spare time, I, I like chilling out, playing with the boys on the PlayStation 2 because that's how we bond and all that. Don't try it already. <laughs> don't, don't try it, bro. I've always had the same friends since I was young and they've always been there for me when, uh, when it's bad and that's the main thing. Oh, oh, I know what I'm talking about. I like to do the best at everything I do, so um, when I play with the boys and that, they know who's the boy. But it don't mean nothing if he ain't got the ball and running. Dribbling past the best, taking a level to the next. On the pitch, I'd like to be like Buster Rhymes, really. Just always hyper and that, trying to get goals all the time. When I first came to Aston Villa, I wasn't in charge of the music. Jay Lloyd Samuel was the, the DJ in the change rooms, if you want to say that. The boys weren't really happy with what he was doing. He wasn't producing the goods. We weren't psyching them up before the game and that, so I just thought I'd step in and um, take control, really. Much different, just had more up to date tunes really. Like, you know, the tunes that you see on top of the pop 
Så där. Nej, nej, joking. It's like a ritual now, like it's every time you have to come in, you have to put your CD on. It ain't going on if it ain't my CD, that's the bottom line. Otherwise, if we ain't got the CD on, we feel like if we were to lose, it was, that's, the, that's the reason. Then cock back the right leg, aim, fire, and then you know what comes next. Power, strength, pace. One goal, three points, and cheering heads. Well, that's how I like to see myself on the pitch. Which brings me back to what I originally said. The only difference between the game and the streets is that 30,000 are watching. Cold, coming, seeing, conquering.